yes guys so we all want we all want to know what can we do to get back on track you know maybe last year we had lots of goals a lot of things to do and guess what we haven't even started or we would have started and probably we would have set them aside so this video like i said is how are we going to get back on track for 2024 and whew, like for those of you who probably would have set you know your new year your new year's resolution like new year resolutions or who believe in new year resolutions um kudos to you but um like for me i usually just continue to work on my goals and there are things if where i'm lacking in my life i try to build on them i try to improve where i can and yeah so let's jump right into the video so i just want to say once again happy new year and for all those subscribe those subscribers who have been rocking with me and um, for some time like i said i have been missing for quite a while i haven't made a video but you know sometimes life gets in the way and sometimes we just we just you know just like oh like we're just missing in action where certain things is concerned however i am trying my best to do much better in 2024 because i think like for instance sometimes you know i search on the internet i search on youtube sometimes the things that i want for myself personally and sometimes i'm like the video is not even there so i am going to try and fill in that gap so for those of you who um do not know i am a nurse by profession and like i said my channel is all about fashion beauty lifestyle nursing and anything that i choose to put on this channel so if you haven't yet subscribed please go right ahead and press that notification bell the subscribe button so that whenever i upload a video you'll be first to be notified thank you so i can jump right into it and you know sometimes it's always good to make a little note so that way you will not get off track so at time you might see me looking down but i just want to make sure that i stay on track keep it within specific time don't get it drawn out and get to the point all right so how are we gonna get uh how are we gonna get back on track so first of all i think that we have to establish a routine for those of you know sometimes not everybody can do a routine but having a routine is really good and with the routine it helps you to keep discipline about what you really really want so let's say for instance that maybe it can be waking up a specific time of the day because you know when you start your day very early it sets the tone for the remainder of the day don't get me wrong there are some people who are not um early risers or there are some people who are late risers um to each their own but i'm just saying if you can have a routine and try to stick to that routine and you will be amazed as to how this can transform your day and also your life okay so maybe it's getting up early um let's say you start your day by maybe um getting some fitness in fitness in um yeah so start a routine and that should probably help another thing to get back and health you know um on track is like you know focusing on your self-care and self-care can it you know self-care is is a range of things that we can do as it's as it implies self-care so the main few things that you can narrow in is your hair your skin and your nails guys it you know it's like it is wide it's 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 large it's huge it's it's a big surface to cover but so focusing on your self-care can also help you to get back on track think about it when you have glowing skin when your skin is soft it's glowing you know it feels good it makes you feel confident when your hair is well combed well put together it makes you feel 
feel so confident and you know just making you know finding that time for yourself mentally it really really helps so focusing your on your self-care it brings so much benefit to you mentally and it really helps so focus on your hair your skin and your nails even if you do not want to let's say have um like bi-weekly maybe manicure pedicure you can do it yourself you get the things you do it at home also you can look for um skin products that are gonna help you you know keep your skin soft smooth subtle and glowing in terms of your face you know focus on your face your neck and everything varies and trust me the glow up is real when you focus on yourself you focus on self-care you you feel amazing listen the smile on your face will say it all you feel so amazing all right another thing you can do is plan ahead you can have some focus plans like if there's something that you really want to do um you focus on that you write it down and you break it down into different parts and you try to achieve peace at a time because sometimes when we try to do everything one time we become and we feel so overwhelmed and i'm certain that a lot of you can relate to what i'm saying because it really do it really does make you feel overwhelmed so i would say focus pre plan focus plan write things down and you know tackle it in small segments and that way you will not feel so overwhelmed in the process all right so listen 2024 for me i want it to be a season of abundance a season of abundance and why a season of abundance because sometimes you know i tend not to you know like go after my goal the things that i really need for the force and sometimes i can procrastinate and we i am taking that procrastination and i'm just gonna go for it and like one of the things i always say sometimes we tend to watch other people and you know like stress like actually sometimes you ask yourself questions like why am i not reaching this point you know even if you put in the work you're not getting to a point you know of maybe a fulfillment but everyone have their season and one of the things i always say it is slow and steady and if you just continue to be disciplined and you do the things that you really focus your mind on you will be amazed as to how much you will achieve without even realizing and another thing is when you can relate to other people um whether well whatever situations it, it really helps and that's one of my goal this year is making sure that whatever i put out it's relatable other people other young women like myself can relate to the contents that i am putting out so and I'm just giving you, like I said, it's like, uh, um, I'm just doing a, um, a vlog, sit down style vlog and just interacting. Like, like I said, and yeah. So like I said as well, you know, one of the, another thing that we can do is set small goals. You might think that goal setting is not relevant but it is relevant it is really it really helps because also it it can tie in where when i said pre 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 plan or focus plan but setting small goals and then also reassess reassessing those small goals like for instance let's say if like for me i am in the process of trying to drive and you know that that driving is a process it takes time so once i put things in place then i know okay i have done this i can check the box okay and like i said every, everyone learn at a different point at, a, at their own pace 
and sometimes we become a bit frustrated when we want to do things and we would have set this goal and for some reason it's just not working out but guess what there's always a different way to get this same thing so maybe what we are doing is not really working so maybe we need to try a different strategy so if we try a different strategy then maybe you will we will see results okay so don't get too hard don't get too hard on yourself don't be too hard on yourself and you just set your small goals and you know put a like a time frame as to when you think that you want to achieve this thing and then you just work you put little steps in place to achieve this small goal or these small goals if that makes sense another thing is you mentally you have to free your mind from negative things and negative people around you because sometimes negative energy can make you feel depressed it can make you feel like hope is lost so if you just focus you know just always try to have happy thoughts and sometimes one good way let's say um, if you're into like listening like motivational speeches you know sometimes that can help start jump start your day in the morning because you know listening positive things it feeds the mind it makes your mind tells you yeah that oh this is this is wonderful like it just like that energy that positive energy think about it you wake up in the morning and the first thing you're you hearing is sad thing bad bad words like negative things like oh you can't everything all the negative words to add to this it makes you feel angry sometimes it makes you be depressed like you just don't want to do anything at all i am certain that you can relate to that but so what i'm saying in order to help you to reset and refocus you just have to always always think positive you know keep away from like i said keep away from negative people keep away from negative things around us and you know just just try to be positive okay just try to be positive people just try to be positive you know sometimes it's very easy to get into the norm and do the negative things than doing the positive things so we just have to keep focus another thing to help you i would say is live within your means you know sometimes like i said to each their own but living within your means it it is a plus because one of the thing is like let's say you don't have something and you always you you probably want to borrow whether it's loans you have your credit card you have ma like numerous credit cards you know because credit cards you, is monies that doesn't belong to you that you're going to spend and guess what you have loans and sometimes your your incomings are less than your outgoings does that make sense yes so for instance if you have a monthly job you get your salary you don't have any additional income coming in and then you have all these extra overheads sometimes it can place it can make you be in a place mentally that you do not want to and sometimes it's all because that you're living with you're not living within your means and sometimes it's good to make positive sacrifices so one of the things i do i practice if i want, like really need something and you notice I said need. If I really need something, I will try my best. And depending on the urgency of the thing that I need, I will try my best to plan and budget for that thing. You know, I don't, tr I don't, because if I don't have the disposable income, I am not going to do it. Unless if it's something that I'm like, I really, really need. And it has to be, let, let's say, something life threatening way that, but. It's not life threatening so i don't really have to put myself in the added strain of putting myself in extra debt and all debts and all of that all right so living within your means is another good way to 
refocus and you know jumpstart your 2024 and i'm certain that all of these few tips that i just give you should help all right so those are just few minimal tips that if you literally use it will help you to refocus your 2024 it will help you to get back on track for 2024 all right so guys if this is a video that you really liked um let me know in the comment section what are some of the things that you are you are hoping to do or you're planning to do to help you get back on track all right we know that it's not easy right it's not easy because sometimes like i said procrastination is a joy killer and if we do not like keep try our best to keep focus in whatever we we are hoping to achieve it can be very daunting it can be very stressful we know this all right so i am so happy to be back here like i said um 2024 is a year of abundance and i am going full head on and i'm going to achieve just that full abundance so at the end of 2024 i can look back and i can say i have made it thus far i have achieved because i've been goal setting i have been planning things like writing things down from since la ending of last year around september november because i said to myself i just like had a vision and i just like i said no i have to do this for myself i have to regain that momentum because it has been a while i haven't posted on my youtube channel but say what we always have time to restart so here i am just giving you a few tips how to refocus and how to reset or restart or uh, how to just get back on track 2020 for 2024 so guys it was nice to have you here with me um on my channel today so look forward to seeing you in my next video bye now